back again with my Nigerian friend. It's about to get tensions because whenever he comes here, you know he's about to cause trouble. Or which <laughs> me, I will not allow that to happen because a proud Ghanaian, I will always defend my country. Mm -hmm. So today we are just going to compare Ghana to Nigeria. I know we would, we may end up not being able to say which country is better, but we we'll try and be reasonable talk facts mm -hmm. compare the countries i have been to nigeria before i've lived there for a couple of weeks i don't know about you <laughs> have you been to ghana before yeah we're just at the border the togolese and oh, the Kenyan border but don't worry i will be fair mm -hmm. i will talk based on facts okay and then we'll compare ghana to nigeria see uh -huh. which one is doing well which one is better and all mm -hmm. he won't even allow me to lie <laughs> because <laughs> For this guy here, you should check her accent video out. Okay. All right. So my name is Benga, and I'm a Bingo. teacher. Yeah. Bingo. Okay, so we are going to compare Ghana to Nigeria. Are you ready? All right. Okay. Let's get into the video. The first one. Let's talk okay. about the um, population. I know that this one Nigerians will take it. Like Nigerians, <laughs> there are a lot of people in Nigeria. <laughs> You know that Nigeria is actually the largest, the country with the largest black population well, in the whole world. In the world. Yeah, in the oh. world. The, the most no populous We won't even compete. We, we can't. How I'm many people are in an estimate now? How many people live in Ghana? I have no idea. But I is it up to 100 million? I don't even know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Right. But I, 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 I know we can <laughs> compete with you when it comes to the population. Like, I know you guys are like okay let me give you some facts just for general knowledge okay in nigeria there are about 200 million people as at the last count in 2019 and in lagos alone in lagos lagos is the economic capital of nigeria whoa lagos alone there are 21 million people that's the that's the population don't worry, of the country it. <laughs> we, 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 we won't even argue you take it don't worry let's talk about infrastructures okay who is doing well who is doing better um i think if we talk about if you are taking lagos i would say lagos is very nice i want yeah. to lie mm -hmm. it's very developed accra is also very developed yeah is it the same thing in the whole of ghana uh, no no okay. to be honest to be very fair no but it's the same thing like lagos like nigeria it's not mm -hmm. every place that is developed yeah, of course yeah. of course when you talk about the transportation system for instance the transportation we have the train we have but not in every state yeah. maybe lagos some just important yeah. states like Lagos, Abuja, Kano, and some other states like that. Yeah. But I think for Ghana, the capital towns or cities are doing well. We, okay. It's quite good. Like Accra. Accra. What about Kumasi? Kumasi, okay. Takra, they, all those places, Cape Coast, like they are Other well. places. But like the villages, is not mm -hmm. so developed. It's not, I won't be so, so it's not developed. It's, it's a village. But it's actually development, mm -hmm. not like compared to the cities okay but do yeah. people have access to like water like yeah power? definitely everyone every yeah yeah wow. not the places that i don't know of but mm -hmm. for the places that i know of like it's good yeah i don't know i mean and there's i think one thing is in ghana we don't mm -hmm. have traffic like you have in nigeria because i remember one time we we're going somewhere and then we left the house around six mm -hmm. we got there around 12 p.m <laughs> we were supposed to get there like, no matter it's an journey mm -hmm. but we ended up getting there at 12 the the traffic in lagos or no, nigeria you, you is bad that's just something something if you plan to stay in nigeria or even traveling to nigeria it's something you should just prepare yourself for yeah lagos is a city that never sleeps when i used to work in lagos i used to sleep around 12 a.m to wake up 3 a.m well, if you wake up any a minute after 3 a.m you're late for the day so like you have to wake up very you early. have to yeah if you want to resume work by seven you should not be in your bed by four you shouldn't be especially well, if no, you're no, working at six <laughs> ah no, 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 get no. To work on time. <laughs> in lagos you you can't be on your bed you can't you can't just be on your bed by six mm -hmm. it's just not possible talking about um the entertainment industry mm -hmm. i would be fair i think nigerians are doing well because when you check the music industry and that of the movies mm -hmm. like nollywood yeah. and it's i don't know about you guys but kumawood i don't know like Kuma we have kumawood and mm -hmm. then we have gollywood oh. gollywood is my the Ghanaian mm -hmm. industry like the movie industry mm -hmm. another fact you people should know is that nollywood is actually the second largest movie industry in the whole world oh okay so we have, Bo you know, we have bollywood 
then we have Nollywood and Hollywood. Mm -hmm. so, Hollywood so even yeah. Hollywood comes after Nollywood when it comes to the largest. Are you so kidding me? You could do a Google oh, search. Oh, okay. Now you are not talking about the largest. You are talking about the best. So um, the best is even... Hollywood. Then Bollywood. Then probably Nollywood. <laughs> but I think they, when it comes to, um, I I think just like you said, I think Nigeria is doing well. Yeah, because are, a lot of Nigerians will feature on international movies. I I love Nigerian movies. I won't lie. I'm a Ghanaian, but I watch a lot of Nigerian mm -hmm. movies like Men's Club, mm -hmm. Skinny Girl in Transit. Like those YouTube videos, yeah, of course. movies, they are just doing so well. So, what about I'll Nigerian music? I know they are doing well. You know, <laughs> let's talk about the cost of living. Um, this is also relative. It's really relative. Cost of living in Nigeria is um, generally not so pricey, mm -hmm. but in Lagos, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. Really, it's it's really expensive, and that's why a lot of people um, they earn so much in Lagos. But yes, um, you tend to pay. Yeah, they just to pay a lot, especially at accommodation. Accommodation in Lagos is really expensive, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but in places like Ibadan. Like cities surround. Mm -hmm. I was Lagos. in um, uh, what's the name of this place? I've forgotten, but I'll tell you where okay. I was. But the cost of living over there wasn't so expensive. No, really. Food I remember is cheap. Food when is I cheap came to Nigeria. Ghana, mm -hmm. I told a certain friend of mine that I am going back to Nigeria to buy food stuff and come and sell them <laughs> in Ghana because wow. the cost of living, or mm -hmm. let me say food in Nigeria, yeah. is so cheap mm -hmm. as compared to Ghana. Like Ghana, I won't lie, things are expensive, especially in Accra. Wow. There's this drink that mm -hmm. they sell in Ghana for about um, four CDs, and then in in, in Ni Nigeria, I used to buy it for the equivalent of like one CD. Wow. Which was. So <laughs> when I was coming back to Ghana, I mm -hmm. bought a lot. Just which, to... Yeah, just because it was cheaper. Mm -hmm. And generally, I think Nigeria is good, like when it comes to the cost of living. So if you ever think you want to stay in a country, probably like Ghana. Mm -hmm. And Nigeria, and you think you don't have want to spend like, so much, you don't want to spend a lot, mm -hmm. then I think then Nigeria. Nigeria should be mm -hmm. best for you. But mm -hmm. like, if you have okay money, I mean, I don't have money, but I stay in Ghana. But like, you, can, you will survive. We have places in Ghana where things are cheaper, mm -hmm. like Kumase, things are very cheap. But I think not Accra. Accra is expensive. Food even in Lagos is not as expensive as one would have thought. Mm -hmm. It's actually cheap. And I think it's because the government and the country itself invest largely. In agriculture, oh, okay. Okay, there's this new initiative that everyone should go back to the farm, mm -hmm. and you know Nigeria is a very fertile land. Okay. So even as um, a Nigerian in your garden, you grow stuff. Okay, so now three for you, one for me. Okay. Okay, now electricity. I think Ghana is doing well when it comes to power, in general, because even though sometimes there'll be light out or light off or doom so. Generally, it's good in Ghana, like way better compared to Nigeria. Because when I was in Nigeria, almost every day, like, boom, boom, <laughs> boom, 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 there was never a day that we had the light on, like from morning to evening. Like it was poof, like power off. But in Ghana, like you could go like a week, two weeks, three weeks without power, without power out. Yeah, power out. Um, yes, Ghana say there. Uh, uh, Power is an issue in Nigeria. It is. If you go to Nigeria, you see so many Every generators. Morning. You see, mm -hmm. but really, it's also relative. For instance, places like Osho State. So Osho State is southwest of Nigeria. It's also close to Lagos. Mm -hmm. Places like Osho State, especially in the state capital, Oshogo. Oshogo. You can I get know. you can get power for three days, uninterrupted power supply for three days for four days. And um, I think in Nigeria, in Nigeria, so yeah, in Nigeria, uninterrupted power supply for three days is a big deal. Okay, that's a big deal. Okay. But something I still don't really understand is um, I read somewhere that Nigeria actually provides power to some of these South um, West African countries, uh, excluding Ghana. Are you sure? I'm very I think sure because Ghana, we have light always. Well, I know like of Benin Republic, I know of Togo, well, and I know Ghana, I think of Ghana. I think Nigeria provides electricity mm, mm, for Ghana. Mm, 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 mm. This is not wait, a fact, wait. but I think so. I read somewhere that Nigeria. Mm, go go read the article <laughs> again because this cannot be true. I think we should be the ones giving you power. No, I never. Mm, mm, that would never. Happen. It would happen because at this point. Mm -hmm. We are leading. So three, two. <laughs> Let's talk about educational system. How is it like? Um, in Nigeria, we run the six, three, three, four. What is that? So what it means is you spend six years 
-hmm. in primary school. Okay. They spent three years in middle school. Same thing in Ghana. Then three years in high school. Same thing. Then four years in the university based on the course. Same thing. Your course of study. So mm -hmm. people will study medicine for reason. But Nigerians pay particular attention to quality education. Okay. And that's why um even if you have the talent if you want to be a footballer you want to be a musician mm -hmm. nigerian parents will stress the need of you going to school before you yeah pursue your dream before you pursue your, even okay. if you pursue your dream you shouldn't leave that so oh. if you want to be a musician yes you are into the music industry and all that but at the same time you still going to school nigerians would even go out of the country to study you have to study and come back to the country to um of course use their knowledge Oh, so develop. when people leave Nigeria yeah. to anywhere yeah, outside, to, and they come back to They often come back. It could take time. Oh. Could 10 years, 15 oh. years, 20 years, even 50 Ghana, years. You <laughs> oh. I won't lie, mm -hmm. but the thing is, we also deal with quality education. Okay. Parents really want their children to pursue higher education, mm -hmm. and also, like, there's that thing where even if you don't go to school, your parents will push you mm -hmm. like you don't like to but they will push you to go mm -hmm. to school and all and then there is something that the government is doing where the government is also paying the school fees of the students so wow. with primary school junior high school and senior mm -hmm. high school the government pays for so the it's fees. free so it's free free wow. education in ghana just to encourage a lot of people to go to school mm. initially it used to be primary school and junior high school that okay. was free okay. but then now the senior high schools are also free so wow. the moment you complete junior high school you, go you to, just pack your things and go to senior high school wow. and the government will pay for that. Is it like that? Um, in Nigeria, um, public schools are free. Okay? okay. Public school. The education in primary school, um, junior secondary school, senior secondary school. Mm -hmm. Well, you may just need to pay maybe the college PT, like okay. uh, parents, teachers association. Oh, okay. Just all those little fees, but not tuition fee. Okay. But private schools, on the other hand, in Nigeria, I think the fee is quite expensive. Okay. Kudos to Nigerians in diaspora who are actually coming back into the country to invest in tech, in music, in fashion, in education. In all the other industries. And that's why you find so many international. I think it's good that whenever they go, they come back because for my country, Ghana, it's, it's just a handful of people who would come back to their country mm. just to. Um, impact the knowledge mm. that they've received outside mm -hmm. in the country because honestly if i get the opportunity mm -hmm. to travel outside ghana to study the probability of me coming back will definitely be low I mean, why is that because like the economy isn't so favorable you know when you work outside the country mm -hmm. you'll be well paid mm -hmm. but then when you work in ghana the amount you receive the the economy is not so so good mm -hmm. to attract people to come back because mm -hmm. now if i go back to ghana and like there's a good work for me with mm -hmm. a good pay i think i'll be okay mm -hmm. but thinking about the fact that there's no work, yeah no good unemployment salary, and all that mm -hmm. i won't go back you see so i think that's the difference mm. it's but the same, you guys, you guys, you guys it's the same well. when a dress travel like that it may take time now, I don't mean Nigerians will travel this year and they come back and say no. Some Nigerians spend 20, 30 years before coming back into the Oh, country. then I think it's the same because we also then go they come hold back. political positions. Oh. Okay. <laughs> or maybe establish their businesses. And that's why you see innovations coming out of Nigeria in the past, at least the last three, five years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see Paystack, you see Flutter Wave, you see um, Andela, you see oh. a lot of. Um, initiative, these are people who have um, gone, gone to Europe, to America, America and, and using their knowledge to develop their country. That's good, that's good. I think I like, I like it. Okay, for this, I won't say one to Nigeria because <laughs> I think we are all being... The same. Yeah, because really, Ghanaians also go and then they come back okay. when they also have enough money to establish something exactly. back at home. Because really, if you just come back home with nothing, you just be dead. <laughs> Suffer. Yeah, of Unemployed. course, you wouldn't want to come back home with nothing. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. The next one would be tourism. Mm -hmm. How is it like? Because of how big Nigeria is mm -hmm. and how populous Nigeria is, um, tourism is a big deal. Okay. There are a couple, a handful of sites that have been recognized by UNESCO okay. as World Heritage Sites in Nigeria. Oh, that's nice. Uh, worthy of note is Osho Shobo Festival. Okay, okay there's Osho Shobo Festival, it's a festival. 
in Ocean State. Like I said, I live mm -hmm. yeah. in Ocean State. I, I live and work in Ocean State for some while. So Osho is a goddess. Okay. Mm. Osho is a goddess in Nigeria. And um, there's a myth that she, out of anger, she turned into water. Okay, so <laughs> a goddess that turned into okay. water and people actually worship oh. Oshun. So um, there are places like that that have been recognized by UNESCO as World Heritage Sites in Nigeria, okay. both in the South Nigeria and northern parts of Nigeria. And there are tracks, for instance, Osho Oshobo, people come from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Just to look at it. Yeah, um, we have places like the Lekki Reservation Center in Lagos. So it may surprise you to know that as crowded as Lagos is, as populated as Lagos mm -hmm. is, there are still green areas. Oh. You still see large mass of green land. Mm -hmm. You see zoo, you see animals, you see different species of animals. Tourism in Nigeria is a big deal and um, it's a major source of income for the government. I would say Ghanaians are doing well when it comes to tourism because um, our tourist sites are actually nice mm -hmm. like they are doing well mm -hmm. nice spaces they try to keep it and they try to maintain it and a lot of people from the diaspora mm -hmm. and other places that come in just to look at what we have in the country you know and for me as a blogger mm -hmm. i love ghana because of what it has lots of tourist attractions mm -hmm. in ghana where you can just go relax a lot of beaches like sometimes i can go to this beach go here go, a lot of them mm -hmm. it's numerous so i think Ghanaians are also doing well with their tourist attractions yeah the nigerians are not doing badly too mm -hmm. really you know and because you know in nigeria you have like 36 states yeah I heard. and each state has at least two or three tourist, um, tourist attractions. attractions so when you multiply that it's a lot you, it's, it's a whole lot okay, it mm -hmm. may be a lot as compared to ghana mm -hmm. but i mean even though Ghana is not as big as Nigeria, mm -hmm. Ghanaians are doing well when it comes to their tourist attractions. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we I also try our best to patronize. It's like a lot of people will be vlogging, mm -hmm. creating content about mm -hmm. this location wow. just to attract a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I remember the year there was this um, thing that happened in Ghana some time ago, year of return, where mm -hmm. people from the diaspora came in. Mm -hmm. And so we had to work on the locations, wow. on the tourist sites, because that is what is bringing mm -hmm. the revenue into mm -hmm. the country. So mm -hmm. the government actually did a lot when it came to that. I think Nigerian government too and content creators okay kudos to Nigerian content creators in the past five years they've been doing a whole lot mm -hmm. to let the outside world see what, what yeah and Nigeria I think it's necessary let's talk about social relations how hospitable are Nigerians yes. um Nigerians are very hospitable mm. really and um I really don't need to talk but if you're watching this and you're not a Nigerian, if you're a Ghanaian, if you're an American, if you're you English, know this one, you will win. Yeah. So you see where you're starting from. Yeah. You know we would win. No, no I, I just think you should judge yourself based on your relationship with Nigerians you've met at least once in your lifetime. I mean, so I, nice. I, I leave you guys. Yeah. I leave you guys. I think Nigerians have, and, and I think it could be traced to our culture. Mm -hmm. Okay, in Nigeria, um, regardless of your religion, we are taught to be courteous, we are taught to be respectful, and that's why don't be surprised when you see Nigerians and they greet you and they do like this. It's a reflex action. The Nigerian culture trains you, regardless of your religion, no, okay. to be very hospitable, and that's why Nigerians are always welcoming. I don't know. It's the I same think, in Ghana. Ghanaians is, is worse. Really? Like, we, we overdo it. It's like, wow. Are we taught? I think so. Um, I don't know. It's, it comes off like very mm. naturally. Like you just want to help people. You just mm. want to be there for people. Mm -hmm. Like carrying the bags, mm -hmm. making sure that they're out. Um, someone yeah, is comfortable okay. mm -hmm. and all. And so being sociable, smiling. I mean, even if you are insulting me, yeah. I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> like we, we just have that thing mm -hmm. like we are very hospitable mm -hmm. whether we know you or not mm -hmm. like we just want you to feel okay around mm -hmm. us like we just want you to feel at home we are mm -hmm. very comfortable with people new people around mm -hmm. us like mm -hmm. we we just want them to feel happy and Ghanaians are very hospitable i won't lie like they are super hospitable i think it's an african and, thing yeah it is when i went to nigeria too i had a couple of people who were very nice to me so 
I won't say like yes, I'm rude or something. They mm -hmm. they were very nice, like super nice to me. Probably because I was staying with them and mm -hmm. I was with them. But even people that I met outside the family that I was with, they, they were, were actually nice. Especially when they know you are not from Nigeria, Nigerians try to. I think it's just mm -hmm. the Niger spirit. We we'll call it the Niger spirit. It's a Ghanaian Ni spirit. <laughs> Ghanaians are also Nigerians are cheerful. super nice. They are always cheerful. In Nigeria, we'll be in problem and we'll still be smiling. Mm -hmm. In Nigeria, yeah. we are just so. Yeah. I think it's just more of um, an African. Something. Yeah, more of an African. Yeah. Let's talk about corruption. Hey, hey. should we continue on? Let's, we to corruption it? is everywhere. So no, I just want you to. No, I want should we end it here? No, I want you guys to know that there is no country that is, um, that is, um, that is free of corruption. Okay, I we're wouldn't not say that. So not Ghana, that. Ghana. Has had his own fear, yeah, share. Yeah, yeah. Nigeria. So I don't we, think we it's just a Nigerian want to know thing. the guru, the guru of no. There's gurus. no guru. I there don't think. I just, no, I don't think there there's a guru. There's a guru. I don't think because I say Nigeria, and I you wouldn't and I say. know that Nigerians no, are no. the gurus. I think corruption is everywhere. I think bribery is everywhere. I I'm think. not. I'm not going to say that it's not corruption mm -hmm. is in my country. So when were you saying? But I'm just Nigeria. saying that. Nigeria. No, no, no. I'm just mm -hmm. saying that there are some things that we have students, mm -hmm. we have seniors, mm -hmm. we have masters, <laughs> and then we have bosses of. So in Africa. Who is the master of corruption? Oh, should we even talk about it? Do you want me to mention it? Let's let's check online. Let's Google. No, no, don't believe what and that's why don't believe what said, said, let's Google. Let's Google. Let's Google it. Okay, it's Google. Let's Google. I agree, it's Google. Let's <laughs> Google. Google it. Alright. I agree if you type corruption in Nigeria, you'll see a lot of stuff, but um <sighs> I really don't know what to oh say. Right. So now but, people, um, three, three. What, no, what I can say is that corruption is everywhere. So it's not in Nigeria. No, I don't want to agree. Don't okay, worry. even the US, the United States is don't corrupt. Worry, even don't England. Worry. Don't worry, so you understand. Nigeria. The moment you mention better. Nigeria, what comes to mind is corruption. Honestly. And that's why. Remember, just recently, they just blacklisted Nigeria from. I'm going to the UK and Canada because of because of COVID COVID issue because mm -hmm. like people are paying their way through. You don't that happens every. That, that happens. I, I'm not trying to defend Nigeria, but that happens everywhere. Ah, okay, not just just not just in Nigeria. <laughs> we should actually judge the individual, not the country as a whole. So, but the person is from the country. The country. Oh, you say country? Yeah, country. Oh, okay. What do you say? Country. Country. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Country. We are, we, are not, we are not doing this again. We are not doing this again. Okay, so basically, yeah, so like I said, basically, it depends on how you also see things mm. for you to also know that, okay, this country is better than this or not. Mm -hmm. But I think both Nigerians and Ghanaians are doing well. Mm. And let me know what you also think about this whole thing, whatever we talked about in the comment section. Probably there's something that we didn't talk about or we didn't say it well. You can let mm -hmm. us know in the comment section and we will check it out. Thank you so much for being with us. Anything? No, Ghanaians. Nigerians, we love you. Twally. <laughs> we love you. We love you. Yeah, we love you. We love Which you. one is we love you? We love. What's love? Lover. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe.